it's your boy Noto coming to you with another video, coming to you with another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, we're going to discuss the power of being silent as a handsome select man. If you're new here or you already been here, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and comment. Go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, let's go and get into this topic, guys. Now, the thing about this, guys, being silent is golden, guys. Being silent is definitely golden. And there's like a saying. I don't, I don't remember. I don't know if I'm going to butcher it or not. But there's definitely a saying that that a fool could pass as smart if he is, if he is silent. A silent man can be a silent man can be passed for as 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 smart. A fool could be passed for as smart if he is silent. Even a fool, guys. The whole point of that saying, and the whole point of that I'm trying to get at with this, guys, is that. It creates a mysterious aspect to you. That's the whole thing about it. Because when you're silent, nobody can figure you out. When you're silent, they're only left up to their own perceptions of you. But at the same time, being mysterious is very powerful. When it comes to women, when it comes to everyday interactions. Because... Silence is definitely golden, especially in a whole lot of situations. Just being silent. Because being handsome and select as it is, you're already going to end up getting garnering a lot of attention as it is. The last thing you need to do is be out here being too, too much. Doing too much. Running your mouth too much. Close your mouth and open your ears and keep your eyes peeled. That's more of the thing that you do. That's one thing my my uh my uh my auntie taught me back in the day. My auntie and my uncle taught me back in the day. They told me to sit back and watch, and you'll find out everything you need to find out. Open your eyes, open your ears, and close your mouth. That's what they taught me a long time ago, and it got me a long way, and it's still getting me through a lot of these times. Because when you're busy running your mouth, guys. You, you you forget to listen. A lot of people can't multitask. You can't multitask. You're sitting there running your mouth. A lot of times, and especially if you're running your mouth, you're going to end up giving away too much about yourself. Nobody goes to a magic show and they show you how the tricks are done first and then just show you how it is. No, they don't ever show you how it's done. You know why? And you know why people are so allured or are so attracted to magic shows and ma magicians and and uh, crime shows and why, why a lot of women like doing puzzles, why they like watching drama shows, you know, the CSIs and all that. Because there's an aspect of mystery, the mysterious nature of the magician is what is alluring. Nobody understands how he's doing these tricks. It's a mystery. You see what I'm saying? It was it's so much better when you don't know how it's done and you're much more wild. It that applies to women, that applies to society, that applies to everyday life. That applies to your work, you at work, all that. Being silent, being mysterious most more so often. It's because when you're a mysterious person, no, no when when you do something and you come out of nowhere and do something that that'll create some type of allure that will uh, create some type of attraction you being attractive already will all just only add on to that you see what i mean so the thing is when it comes to like the crimes the crime shows why you think women watch a lot of these shows all the time why you think they watch a lot of these drama shows and they always wanna they always wanna keep up with it. And they always trying to solve the mysteries in their head. Who's cheating with who? Who's doing this? Who killed them? Who you know, who who who's who's the murderer? Who's the kidnapper? Who's this? Who's that? It's simply because the aspect of mystery. They love things that are mysterious, guys. Mysterious guys. A mysterious man. 
And that's the that's the that's the atmosphere a silent handsome select man creates when he's in these environments, guys. That's a that's definitely because I remember back in the G when I was always just talking, running my mouth, and that's when my that's when my auntie and my uncle told me that I was just talking all the time. Forever just showing my hand. It's almost like we're playing spades. And I just show my hand before we even begin the game. That's how I always was at first. But now when I started sitting back and watching, you know, just just started observing more. Being quiet, just coming around. You get one, you get another level of respect when you're silent as well. That's another thing. You get a level of respect simply because nobody knows what to make of you. So if you're out here being flamboyant, showing your personality, people know what to make of you and they already make their perception of you as if, okay, he's just a jokester, he's just this or that, and they feel like they have you figured out. But if you're silent, nobody has you figured out. That goes for that goes for women and men. Whatever whatever situation you're in when you're dealing with a woman, you don't want to show your hand. Don't tell her too much about you. Let her try to figure it out. Be mysterious. You be like, oh, you work, where do you work at? Oh, I just work in this old little place, place right here. This is the office. Let her figure it out. Don't be like, oh, I work here. I work in this type of corporation. I make this type of money. I do this, that. No, let her figure that shit out. Create a level of mystery. That's why they like to do puzzles. That's why they like to watch this. You understand that it's almost like being silent. It's almost like leaving people with a cliffhanger. You see what I mean? You're leaving people with a cliffhanger. Just like how they do in these shows. Leaving you wanting for more. People love, even though we hate cliffhangers. we But we really love cliffhangers too though. We only hate cliffhangers because it leaves us wanting more. But we want to see it. So guess what? People will want to binge now. But the cliffhanger leaves them wanting more. So you being silent is almost like leaving them with a cliffhanger. It's like, dang, I wonder what's next. What am I going to figure out next about this person? I figured this out, but I just can't seem to figure him out. I can't seem to figure her out. You know what I'm saying? It could be that the woman can be like, they can't seem to figure this man out. And that's the best way you guys need it to be. Because I'm telling you guys, if you're just sitting there giving everything out, you're not leaving them, you're not leaving them with anything. That's like them watching a show and they know everything that's about to happen. It's like them watching reruns. No, they want to watch it. You need, you need to come to them and appear to them like a brand new movie every time. They don't know what twists and turns. You need to have, you need to have like the M. Night special. Twi- twist ends. Twisted endings. Every time. A level of mysterious. Come with a be like a magician. Because remember, a magician never reveals his secrets. And don't tell them. Because I remember one time when I told you guys that I work in the hospital. And they always wondered what I wore to smell so good. And I ended up telling the girl only two ingredients of it. And all of a sudden, she wasn't really excited to know what I was trying to wear all the time. You know what I mean? She wasn't excited as excited as when she didn't know what it was. Even though it's four components that made up my entire sem- my en- ensemble, aroma, or whatever. But I only told her two just to see what it would do. And now she feel like, since she felt like she figured it out, she's not as excited anymore. So I walked by, I was like, oh, it's just that, it's just that. You see what I mean? So I was like, man, hell no. Nah. You think it's just that. And then I, cr- I recreated the mystery by telling her it was two more components. And then after after that, the mystery, the mysterious, the, the level of mystery has risen again. Now she wants to know what the other two components are because it's definitely evident that, that the things that I told her wasn't the only things at play. So when you look at it like that, guys, understand that being mysterious, being silent, especially being a handsome select man. It's golden. And when you're going to do it like that, guys, keep it as mysterious as possible. Keep them wanting more. Just like when we used to watch Dragon Ball Z and we just couldn't wait for that next episode. 
when y'all were watching Power, couldn't wait for that next episode. Just like that. Keep it going. Keep them wanting more. Anyway, if it's your boy Nodo, man. Coming to you with another video, coming to you with another podcast, man. And if you're enjoying the content, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and comment. Go ahead and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. Remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves if they're willing to work at it. I'm out. Thank you.